It's been eight months since the incident at the German household. Since then, the German mob and the Russian family haven't been talking. You see, the Russians lost their man on the inside. I mean, they're completely blind to what the Germans are planning. That's why I, the godfather everybody, has to keep talking to the Russians to keep them at bay. I have to keep making sure Sokolov doesn't think you guys are going for any revenge because of your mistakes. You see, it's been eight months since you died in Daytona Beach. And that's why we're still trying to fix your fuck-ups. You know, I respect your reluctance to speak, but being that we've treated you very kindly, Fisher, I believe that we should be getting a little more out of you. You're a very naughty man, Mr. Fisher. Been a lot of fuck-ups on your end. A lot of cleaning from me. Fisher, I expect a lot more cooperation on your end. You understand me? Dennis Fisher is dead. I don't understand why we're still even talking about him. What are you, stupid? I'm sorry. Who the fuck are you? He's new head of security for the Germans. For the new head of security? Oscar? You trust this white boy? Well, I trust him more than I trust your ex-associate, Peter Nathaniel. What does this Fisher have to do? killed a relative of the Kreslov twins in Chesmark. He broke rule number one. The Russians aren't playing by the rules, and they don't trust anyone. It seems like everyone you've worked with gives you problems. Peter, the Russians took care Dylan, of hold, Peter. Hold, Dylan, hold on. Calm down, take a minute. What Mr. Portland's trying to say is that Mr. Nathaniel is no longer an issue for any of us. He's out of the picture completely. He, there's no way he can contact us, contact any form of the federal government, or with any of our activities for safe. Now, your name is Sebastian. Right? Sebastian or Stefan? Sebastian. Sebastian, right? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Excuse me for that. It's been a minute since I read your file. But anyways, I appreciate you being so concerned for the security of all of our businesses. But I want you to let, let this be known. So what I do, what Mr. Portland does, doesn't concern any of you. This is our business just as much as this is yours. If we're going to put anyone at risk, we're all at risk. You understand it? OK. Well. For the time being, we we'll go attend to another matter. So we need to go ahead and head out. Okay? Alright. All right. Oscar? Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Have a good one, Mark. And you? Fuck you. Take it easy, Cap. Well, that was a disgrace. Could have been better. Does he know he's on medication? No. Does he want to do business with Portland? Just doesn't want to talk about business right now. When does he get back? Monday. Who's the priest? Vincent Malachi. Is he a threat? No, but 
Portland thinks that Malachi will protect him from God's punishment. I'm glad you all could be here. We have much business to discuss before I head off to Seattle. Let's just get straight to business. The Garcia cartel is leaving Florida. They are cutting ties with everyone. The Germans, the Americans, and most importantly us. Everyone. And uh, what are they doing with Portland? Nothing. What? The Mexicans are not going after Portland. He killed their leader. Why aren't they going after him? Maybe they're just leaving. Decided to pack their bags and head back to Mexico. You know, Cancun's pretty nice this time of year. Maybe they want to go back and party a little bit. But uh, the reason why, I mean, I, I don't know why they would even, even the name Portland's even brought up in this conversation, to be honest with you. There's no reason for them to go after him anyways. So that's probably why they're leaving. They have nothing to do. Ian, that was Boris. Hector? Ian. You need to shut the fuck up. I know what your name's all right, kid. Fuck you. Alright. Boris is doing well. He's with the doctor. Mm. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Stupid bitch. And you know what America calls regional dialects? Is so. What happened to that one guy? Peter Nathaniel, the man who uh, hacked Boris. He got away, he's on the streets, we don't know where he is. Uh, we told everyone he was dead, but we do not know where he is at this very moment. What shitty idea was that? That is shit idea. Wait, hey, you need to calm down a little bit, Slokov. You're not the one giving these orders out? Yes. Who's the one that's ruling this, bu this business here? Excuse me, there are people that work underneath me that I allow to give order to help flow of business. Seems like you're having some issues with your flow of business here. A little communication, a little iffy iffy, huh? I only take issue with shit ideas. So why have you not brought this up before? This is a pretty shitty idea. If you'd have asked me before, now. I would have been the one advising you. But apparently, you, you just pay me for my services and let pretty your meetings and waste my time, huh? I mean, I'm your lawyer. I work for Portland, or for everybody. Everyone needs Mr. Dan Danny Wallace in their life. And you're the one who just never uses my services. You just make me come to these meetings, remember what happens, and that's about it. You know, I'd be in court doing this rather than sitting at this table making money. Then go do that. Don't have to ask me twice. Remind me again why we told everyone Peter was dead? I do know that I did because Mrs. Slokov wouldn't want to look weak in times like this. Oh, because he killed the Germans, is that what you're talking about? And if you don't remember, Dennis Fisher killed our cousin. Fisher is dead. If you wouldn't have jumped the gun, we wouldn't be in this mess. You've never given a shit about our cousin. For that matter, you never given a shit about the whole fucking family. You know what? I'm getting tired of your shit, Ian. Go fuck yourself. Really good, really coherent, you fucking... Get back here. I thought you could pull one over on me. No, stop! Please! No! Don't do this! You know what you're doing!
They left about 10 minutes ago. No. You got something to get off your chest? It's the third case I've lost this week. Well, I mean, I wouldn't feel too bad. All three cases were against me. upset, man. We work for the same guy. You know, we never been properly introduced. Daniel Wallace. Jameson Lockwood. You know, just for future reference, I'm the, uh, the asshole not a lot of people like, you know? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, mind walking me out to the car? Sure, why not? I'll talk to you about a few things. Place when we discuss business in public, you know that we're from Portland for six years. You understand? Yes, sir. Let's go to my truck. I'm your resource? I'm the one that's supposed to make you safe? Bring you to my safe house? You're the only one I trust of all these people. Fair enough. Uh, go ahead. Get in the truck. Get out of the country, you need a safe house, you gotta have a passport. Do you have any? No. Go ahead and leave me glove box, got some fuel for made. You see them? No, I don't see it. Keep on looking back there, you know? Far in the back, right corner.
Those loafers are really nice. Almost as nice as that meeting I didn't get to go to. Listen, Portland came to us, right? There was no control in that situation at all. It was out of my, it's not even fate. There was no way in hell I could control that. He's a psychopath. Can you just do it? I want to start. Where do you want to go? Let me stop. Where did you go? Look at my fingers. However you wanted to go. It's like I'm, I'm really hurt, you know? The medium could have been nice like these shoes, but I don't know. You know, I'm hired. Go to the shit. Consult it. Okay, consult it. It's not there. Now the shoes aren't nice. Because I don't know. Fuck you. You're ugly. Listen. No. I respect you. I don't care. You are a great worker. I don't know. I respect you greatly. Well, how can we but tell? And everyone's a medium. I cannot control this man. Mm. Learn how to. This man just makes his own rules. But he wears nice shoes. Yeah, he wears nice shoes. Who, who gives a fuck? Me. Who is I gives? consult him. I understand that. Well, how can I consult him? If I'm not there. I understand that. Do you I understand, understand that? your pain. Listen, I respect you. For you. Listen, he can hire you, he can also fire you. End of story. Hey, no need to raise your voice. Don't fire him. Exactly, don't fire me. Come on. Sure. Hurt my feelings. Actually, no one's here. Fuck you. Come on. No, no, no. We have business to attend to. No, 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 no. Are you really pulling out AirPods right now? Do you realize how disrespectful that is? Yeah, uh, as I was saying, I was uh, I was looking through the files in that Susan Henry case. Um, man, I don't know how you got away with that. Yeah, that, that was my idea. Probably should have let me know before I was went up there for about an hour. Oh, that, that's, that's too bad. Yeah, why is he bloody? When have you been torturing him? Why are you torturing him? Because Dylan told me to. Speak up! Because Dylan told me to. Alright, so Dylan told you to, huh? Yeah. Finally fucking talk? Answer me! Fuck you. Mr. Portland's been very disappointed that you haven't been talking. I think I can find a way to make you talk. Let's see, this, which one should I use? Ready to fucking talk? Fuck you, cunt. Alright. I gotta go meet with Portland. Have yeah, fun. Alright, this one isn't working? Maybe this will get you to fucking talk. Yeah, um, we're gonna leave right now, but uh, I got something to tell you. Yeah, uh, the Russians, they, uh, they ain't killed Peter. You there? Portland. Where the, where the fuck is he, Daniel? Uh, he came to me. He's seeking advice and asylum from me. Um, he's, he's not getting any of that. I got him in a safe place. No one's gonna find him for the time being. Uh, he's, he's not going anywhere. You keep Peter secure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm holding him. It's fine. Just, just get here as fast as you can. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm pulling him to the parking lot right now.
questions that trouble you. Father, I've done some terrible things. As we all have. These, uh, these things haunt me, Father. They're relics of my past that, that have hurt me. I, I can't be a good person if I keep... It's time to let it all go. It's time to, uh, time to set it all free. Da Daniel, uh, have, a, have a seat. Uh, Father, Father Malachi, this is Daniel Wallace. Daniel Wallace, Vincent, uh, Vincent Malachi. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you, I'm glad you came so, uh, so quickly. Father, um, I brought Daniel here uh, to talk about a a business venture we're interested in. Daniel, you, you can you can you can you can say it better than me, Daniel. All right, well, Father Malkovich. Mal no, Malachi. Hey. Oh, oh. Say it again. Malachi. Malachi. Well, what we want to do here is a money laundering scheme. So essentially, we're going to give you the cash to go through your church, and this will make it look like it's you know regular income. So the IRS isn't going to be able to take us down in our business endeavors. And as a result of that, you'd be generating more revenue for the church because we'd split you in 30 70. 30, of course, going to you, 70 going to us. We could percentage that way for at least three years. And if the money laundering continues, we'll increase the percentages as it goes on. God wouldn't let me do that. No. Maybe, uh, maybe we shouldn't. You know, maybe we shouldn't do this deal. You know, maybe uh, I don't know. Uh, we could we could do launder launder all the money elsewhere. Like uh, there's the, all that construction in Orlando, uh, Daniel. Uh, what, we could go back to the Russians. See if the Russians want to. See, the thing is with the Russians, they're interested. I don't want to cut ties with them. That's the whole problem. That's why we're in this situation. Is the reason here to jerk me around, or is he going to help us out? If, if, I mean, you guys spit it out. You know, tell me what's going on. If, tell me if, what the situation is. If, at hand. if Father Malachi doesn't want to do this deal, we're not going to do this deal, Wallace. Okay, then what are we going to do instead? We have no other options. Now, everything you named off is done. We take one more endeavor and the construction get weaker. Construction endeavor never going to work out. You understand? Yeah, you understand but, what I but, said by Rico case? The government will take us down, they'll wiretap every single device that we ever have in our name. Do you want to take advice from him? Uh, yeah, I think this, uh, this business is done. Thank you guys. What the fuck, Daniel? Like, what, what the, do, do you not understand what he means to me? Lord, do you not, no, no, shut up. Thing. No, no, you, he's, 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 he's helped me, Daniel. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't understand. No, he's, you don't understand how money laundering works? We gotta have an enterprise or a business of such to money, launder our money through. Money, laundering, m -m 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 money. L -l 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 laundering, you gotta have them together. You can't have a business. That, that, you know, you can't. What? Where's your brain at? Where? Where's your mind? What? What do you? Thinking? I could do whatever the fuck I want to do. You can't tell me. Malachi can't tell me, and God cannot tell me. Why are you that asking him? Why am I here? Why is he here if he can't say anything? Now we are temporary. Come back to and be holy. Watch your temper, Porter. No, no, no. We're, 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 we're in a public place, Daniel. Maybe we... Yeah, uh, we need to tone down a little bit, buddy. I'm talking about my brother. You going to move now? Conductive. Yes. Yeah. You going to complain and scratch your face like a fucking moron? We're, 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 good one. You got me. Good conversation. You can hold it really well. Now we go ahead and move over here to continue the conversation elsewhere. I don't think our audience would enjoy to hear our details of our business. What the hell do you mean the truck went missing? There's 11,000 liters in that truck. If he does not get that shipment, he will lose his fucking shit. Do you hear me? Am I crystal clear? 
swear to God, if you do not get this shipment, I will personally cut your family apart. Bit by bit. Uh, we'll talk later. Later, yes, at that date. Goodbye. What's going on, Mar? You know my name is Muna, correct? Regardless of the vernacular, uh, what's it doing? Beelzebub works many miracles. He is fine because of Beelzebub. How fun. I mean, to find how good he's doing. I mean, after everything I've done to him, I'd like to know he's in good hands. Is he taken care of? We appreciate the work you've done for us, Mr. Wallace, but he's doing excellent. He's actually coming back next week. He plans to meet with you. It's good to know. I like to see how the recovery's gone so far. Come with me. You know, this operation is very tiring and very hard to maintain. It is it? Yes. What do you mean? Well, I'm just saying your prayers thirst before to have the issues that you're having. I mean, I don't know if you know I noticed or not. You lost your truck this morning, didn't you? Yes. How much liquor was on that truck? Well, it's beyond the point. Meters. Beyond the point. You know what you're doing right now? You're losing money. The cash is going away. Your competence is showing. You understand me, Meyer? You understand me? Speak. Yeah, I understand. Clearly. You have to use your words. I can't. Not psychic. I can't hear what you're saying in your mind. You gotta use your vocal cords. Enunciate, enunciate. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're feeling. You understand me? Yes, I understand. And also, another thing. You can't be talking to public like you were before. Yelling on the phone, I heard you two fucking blocks that way. You understand me? You can't be talking that loud. And who are you to tell me what to do? Daniel Wallace. Lawyer. I advise people. Listen here, Daniel. I do not take orders from you. You take orders from me. There's nothing even in it. Take your gun. Try that again, you won't come back. You understand me? Yes or no? Nod your head for yes. Shake your head for no. Right on. Get out of here. Been well. Beelzebub has got me back on my feet. Glad Beelzebub's been able to help you out. Indeed. Can we sit now? You may. Come on. Hey, Mark. Go ahead and take a walk. I got the message. Why don't you go ahead and follow his lead? My apologies, he tends to linger. Yeah, uh, he's, he's an alright guy. I mean, Meyer does his own thing it seems, but 
I mean, it's, it's whatever. He does his own. He does his own thing, but way too close to me. <laughs> At least he listens, you know. Yes. It's very rare nowadays for people to listen. That's true. Oh, if you don't mind me interrupting, and no disrespect, but uh, I'd rather hear how you're doing. I appreciate the gesture. Um, after getting shot seven times, spending nine months in a hospital can do a little bit of damage to the mind. It's been... it's been rough. I mean, I'm outside, aren't I? Yeah. I'd say things are going well. Alright. As Mueller, uh, go ahead and explain everything to you? Yes. Oscar took the pleasure of filling me in. I tend not to think about that night. So you, you know about the Russians and the Germans, how the ties are very strained right now, correct? I mean, I'd, I'd imagine you did, but... I... How many died that night? It was high amount of fatalities that night. It was between 14 to 17 bodies. And one man, Hector, he was the one. As far as I know, I came in at the tail end of it. How did one man take out 17 armed Germans? You see, that's what I've been trying to figure out myself. You know, it's been eight months since it's happened and still no one knows how it happened. How it was orchestrated? I, I have not figured this out yet, Christian. But why? What I've been hearing is the why is because Fisher killed his cousin. Fisher. Small world we live in, no? Very true. You don't want me being too rash. But can we move this conversation to your house? As much as I love being outside, the mosquitoes are kind of impeding on our conversation right now. I'd rather not go back home. That night is still fresh in my mind. I'd rather not revisit that place. I do not want to discuss this further. That's fine. Do you have anything else you'd like to ask me before we wrap this up? How is Portland? Well, like I said, it's too getting late. We probably should finish the conversation at some other time. You're right. Good seeing you, friend. Was pretty good. Good help. Hey, watch your back. Like an owl. <laughs> hey. on the phone. Who is he talking to? So, uh, do you have any relations with the Fisher Mining Company? Yes, that's my, uh, that's my family's business. It's Interesting. It does, but, um, two years ago, it was shut down after the Obama administration, you know, whatever, derailed all the, the oil and coal crap, but did that, like, affect you, or how did that go? Well, actually, no. Hold on. Are your are your mother and father alive? They're alive. I think I'm getting at what's going on here. Are you are you a social outcast, Fisher? A little bit. That's when you just kill your fucking family. But anyways, um, I've only known you what two months, something like that, something weird. But uh, out of all the Germans, you've been the first that I've been able to you know, trust, other than, you know, Christian, Christian, I, we go back forever. But, uh, I just wanted to say that I actually, like, trust you all. Everyone else around you is just, like, I, I can't stand them, and I, I don't trust them, because, like, there's just something about it, you know what I mean? It's, it's the accent. That's, God, it probably is. Anyways, I just thought I'd give you this. So listen. You're gonna do amazing things with this gun, and I trust that you're gonna do amazing things with this gun. This gun's gonna protect you. This gun is going to do things for you. So, if you had another gun, throw it away. This one's better. Okay. It's a very gracious gift. I guess you could all gracious. Anyways, um, I guess I, I probably should go home. The Mexicans are probably like, where the fuck are you? 
Gentlemen, why don't you have the seats? How are you feeling? I am agitated, friend. Very agitated. What? <laughs> why? Yeah, why? Why don't you tell me what happened to Patrick again? Lost for words. You're lost for words. Yeah, yeah. Let's just forget about Patrick. He got, he got shot into a pool. I don't care. Next. <sighs> Out of all the people that could have come to my house, you two show up. I was in a fucking hospital for nine months! Do you have any idea what it's like to come home for the first time? The place where you were murdered! And two fucking idiots just walk in! To make me relive that night! Seven times I was shot in the back! And yet, here I am, I can't get one moment of peace! God damn it. And who are you to question my methods? I'm, I'm the consultant. Then consult! I did, he's dead.
So, who knows I'm alive? I assure you, every lip is sealed. <laughs> Lies! Who knows? Well, Frederick, Oscar, Daniel Carrington, the Dobbs, and myself. What's about Portland? Should Portland know? No. No, Portland shouldn't know. be beneficial for the three parties of our own to, you know, partner up a little bit more. I know already my dealings with Mr. Uh, Hernandez here are very, very official uh, with the Garcia cartel. Um, I was hoping that Kenna would be interested in partnering more with the Mexican cartel. Do you think he would he'd be interested in something like that? Possibly. Might be able to work something out. That would be very beneficial. Does the Germans have any experience laundering money? Yes, we do uh, many services through Gunther's Mattresses. And uh, Gunther's Mattresses is actually where I run one of the various um, money laundering campaigns of my own, along with Antoni's Laundromat and the few little ice cream shops we've got around downtown here. But. Um, like I said, you, do you think it's a deal that you want to you wanna step foot in? When you feel like that, how can I say no? That's what I like to hear. Dennis, welcome to the club, as I should say.
Hello. Ah. And how do I repay you for the pleasure of talking to you today? Hmm. You always say the nicest things. <laughs> All right. Difficult. Difficult, you say? As in, we've lost a good deal of money. Really? How long was I absent again? Nine months? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. How much did we lose? About 12% overall. And the exports? Even more. How did you lose that much in nine months? I needed your oversight. My oversight. Well, I've been shot seven times in the back, and I'm sitting in the hospital. You need my oversight? There were a lot of difficult decisions I made. How did you lose it? Where did this money happen to end up in? You know this, this happens in business. The investments, those are the same investments you would have made. I know I made a mistake, but you gotta give me a break. Give you a break? You want me to give you a break? I'm your best accountant you've had in years. I've turned your whole company around. You are the best. But you're stupid! You stole it! You stole all my fucking money! And for what? Your own personal gain? Ugh. God damn it! I appreciate it, but this is a friend of Portland. Uh, he's a priest as well, so no precautions necessary. Nice to meet you guys. So you're very adamant about a meeting with Father Malachi. Yes, I, uh, I have something for you guys. Um, I heard Portland does some business with you guys. I, I need help with the... Uh... Oh, hold on. You know, uh, I think this thing will help you guys. 
Well, then I'm glad to have it. Struggling to, struggling to run away. Do not fear God. A real priest would fear God, Mr. Malachi. I don't. <laughs> Malachi is very interested in uh, helping me progress and become a better man, so I would think that if I could woo him over into like wanting to, you know, scrape a little bit of money off the table in my benefit, it would... What, you think it's gonna break down and be a criminal? I mean, according to him, everyone sins, so... Maybe I can woo him. I've wooed many people over. The whole reason we used to work with the Mexican cartel is because I was very uh, intelligent at the moment to woo them over into coming to Florida. Originally, they said no. They didn't want anything to do with Florida. But when I convinced them otherwise... Right. Think we'll be able to convince a priest? I mean... It'd be hard, but... I would... If, if, if we just keep walking, maybe I could, like, refresh my mind a little bit. Um, and what we can do, like, what we can do is... You think that I'm insane? Dylan. Dylan. 
Hum? Malachi. Yes, I'm Vincent. About him. I have a suspicion about that fellow. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about the Catholic priest? You know, the other, you know, you know any other Malachi's? Are you saying he's not Catholic? That's not what I'm saying. Okay, then what's your point? My point is, we don't have any dirt on this guy. He's a ghost. The only thing we know is his name is Vincent Malachi. Is that all? Is that all you got? I mean, you want to you just, you just, ghost? you just don't know who he is. That's all you got, da Daniel. From the very fucking beginning, you haven't given a shit about Malachi. You don't under this. The whole spiel we had in Sunflower. You just. You don't understand how much he means to me. The fact that you think, oh, well, well, everyone has secrets, Daniel. We have secrets. If it's just because Malachi, you just don't know, you just don't know who the fuck he is because, you know, he's a priest. Everyone has secrets, Daniel. I don't give a shit about his secrets. This man is very important to me, and he's done everything to help me. Like what? You know what, Wallace? When you actually have evidence that Malachi is a threat, then maybe that's when you come to me. Malachi hasn't wronged me, and he hasn't wronged anyone else, so we need to sweep it under the rug. It's not a problem for us. This fucking car is gonna get in our way, and he's gonna wanna walk through. So what we should do, is we should walk over to the side over here and make sure that we don't get fucking hit by a car. But the thing is, Wallace, is there's this whole thing and what we don't understand it's you don't make any sense to me Change so much to yeah, hold on. What are we doing? Like, what are we doing with the Russians? Like, the Russians are getting cocky. Um, they won't have a meeting because supposedly, what it is is, I think, I think the Russians are getting dodgy and cocky, and I think they're wanting to leave Florida. Um, so, like I said, Wallace, we're putting this under the rug. We're not talking. We're not talking about Malachi anymore. Um, Shalokov just wants to meet a person. So how about we just wrap all this shit up and go talk to the Russians? Right? Right? Sure. Sounds good. That's what I thought. Yeah, let's let's go. That's where we were going before, right? Yeah, until you brought before you up. Stop walking. Yeah, yeah, until we brought up Alex. Yeah. Stop walking. <laughs> So Mr. Jurgensen advised Mr. Kenner to boost your security around your personal residence. Is that really necessary? I don't think I need to explain how important your security is in these trying times. And what do you think about this? You're Chris's head of security. Well, I support Mr. Kenner's efforts. And where is Frederick now? Mr. Jorgensen's enjoying himself in the same view. He can't do much consulting from there, can he? You must understand that this is a, for the benefit of your safety. We are trying to keep you safe in these difficult times. Do you think I can pull Chris out of this? Excuse me? Do you think I can pull Chris out of this life? I don't seem to understand. He's always been talking about Germany, all these beautiful places. He's a kind man. He only wants peace. Is it fair to believe in such salvation? Forgive me, but why would Christian want to retire? I believe he has served his time. He wants out. Oscar, you know what I'm talking about. 
If you are referencing Mr. Kenner's intentions to remain independent in foreign affairs, then Miss Rhodes, you are mistaken. You know I'm right. If you care about Chris, you'll help me. I will, Miss Rhodes. I will. And about that security, I don't want it. Having you two follow me around is embarrassing enough. I'm safe. I sell homes, not guns. Mr. Portland. Did you hear a word of what I said? I'm sorry, Mr. Solokov. You seem to ramble a lot, so I just figured I'd get a breather over there. But maybe you could remind me um, and recap what you said previously. If you want the Russians to continue to deal in Florida, you must retire. What? You heard of me. What, what my client's trying to say is, why, why would he retire in his prime? I mean, he's got so much to look forward to. Why would he cut it now? Your client here is fucking crazy. He killed Mexican leader. He's shit on all agreement between us and other business. If he does not retire, we leave and do business with no one. Whoa. Here's the thing with this deal, it's only one side. The only person who's going to be benefiting is your party. My client right here is not going to be benefiting anything. And if you continue to have this deal, what's the point of him retiring and accepting this deal? Why would he ever do that? It doesn't make any sense to me, it doesn't make any sense to my client. I'm just losing money at this point. I don't think you understand the circumstance. We have beat them. I don't think you understand, Mr. Sloan. I don't think you understand the circumstance because we don't want Peter. Peter is a man that has betrayed everyone. I think I think what you're trying to do here is try to, you know, woo me over in the sense of, oh, we'll fucking kill him. Kill the bastard. Kill him. I don't give a shit if you spill his blood in Lake Ellen because the thing is, no one fucking cares about him. No one cares about him. You, you know what's very unfortunate? Is I actually like it when you bring your other twin along, Hector. He seems to actually talk and talk good shit. Because you're sitting here and you're saying all the, you know, you got your other twin here. He doesn't even fucking talk here. Let me give you a challenge, Mr. Kreslov. You go and tell Hector that Mr. Portland, you listen to me. You talk, talk, talk. That's all you do. You fucking talk. I like to listen. I like to listen and observe and talk only when it's fucking necessary. You run your mouth. Second, Hector is dead. He was gunned down, merciless, on the floor like a dog. All right? So why don't you shut your fucking mouth for once? Mr. Portland, I don't think you understand. When I find out who killed Hector and my comrades, I will. Now let me stop you right there, Mr. Solokov. Who do you, who, is it, do you really think, are you, are what you trying to say, are you saying that I killed your comrades? Is that what you're trying to get at? Listen here, your brother Dylan, is the one Dylan. that shot up the Germans. Dylan, please, calm down, listen. What he's trying to say Mr. is Mr. Wallace, that whose fucking side are you on? Do you defend Mr. Portland over me? Shut the fuck up, Slokov! I've been defending everyone in this fucking state of Florida. You, him, everyone in this fucking state. Everyone's ran by me. If you listen to my fucking advice, none of this should be happening. You and him. None of you know how to fucking listen. You do your own things, you don't pay attention to what the fuck I say. What do you pay me for? Why am I here? You guys never listen to a fucking word I say. It's you too, Portland. Both of you guys are at fault right here. You understand me? I run this fucking state. I am the lawyer. You listen to me, or you don't pay me. Okay? You guys gonna shut the fuck up and listen to me from now on? You're asking what side am I on? What side am I on? The one who fucking pays me. Both of you guys pay me. So who's fucking side am I on? Well, I'm both of you guys' side. Both, the, everyone's interest is at my fucking heart, in my head, my brain. I'm always thinking about what's best for everybody. I'm not taking sides here. I hope you understand that, Slokov, because that's not who I am. Daniel Wallace. The lawyer for everybody, for everyone. I don't neglect my clients, sir. Mr. Wallace, 
I admire your fire and your rage and how you speak. It's a very, very good quality to have in an impassioned speaker. But you listen to me, bitch. You run nothing. You protect no one. You are no guardian angel. I run these streets. I am the law. I am God here. I am the Alpha, the Omega. You are nothing. You are a small man in a very big world. I run this shit. You run nothing. Yeah, Wallace. This isn't your fucking conversation. You can stay out and keep your sob stories to yourself. You listen here, Mr. Shalokov, because I too am done with all this shit. Nothing is going to change the fact that I am here and nothing can fucking push me out of my throne. You understand that, Mr. Solokov? Mr. Portland, death changes many things. Dos vadanis. You know, I don't understand a goddamn lick of your language. It means goodbye, Mr. Portland. Solokov think he is? He does. Does does Solokov want war? I'll give him war. Yes, the opposite of what we need to do right now, dude. At this point, lying low and as many allies as we possibly can get. That's our motive. Nothing else. You understand me? You understand the destabilization of the cause? I don't fucking care about stabilization, Wallace. I've lost so much, so much. You know. What about your business? You care if that's stabilized? If you knock them out, there goes our buyers. Hold on, hold on. Business hold on, Mr. Wallace. Let me list a few things that I have come to question you, right? You first, you give Peter, you give Peter to the fucking Russians. Why it was would you? It was a business strategy. Do you understand? I told you to keep him safe so I could deal with him. What were you going to do that they're not going to? They're going to kill him? What's the point? Takes them all for hand. Another thing is, is all you keep saying is Malachi, 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 Malachi's bad. No, Malachi isn't bad. He's the only one that's been helping me, and I've been telling you this for the longest fucking time, Wallace. There hasn't been shit that Malachi has done. Another thing. Oh, yeah, another. Shoot what Malachi's yeah, done. yeah, yeah. Ain't Why didn't you thing, tell huh? me that Christian was alive, Wallace? Christians were dead for almost a year. Don't even give me that bullshit. He told me everything. He told me how you were fucking, well, why would you keep this from me, Wallace? Why would you try and do this shit? Why would you keep his death from me? Why would you keep him alive? Why? Why do I need to? Why did you kept it from me? You know who fucking told me? You know who told me? Christian himself. You couldn't, you didn't have the balls to tell me, Wallace. You didn't have the balls you to come to me. He How'd came, you see him? he came to me in person. When he got out of that fucking hospital, I visited him. So why are you telling me that you saw him? Why were you hiding that from me? You see, see this is what you do, Wallace. You chain you you flip my ideas on their fucking head. You don't give a shit. Your ideas you don't, suck, you don't give a you don't give you a shit that? about what I say, Wallace. You know what? Here, I'm gonna make this very easy for you, Wallace. Very, very oh, yeah. fucking Just about as good plain. As fucking friend very, now, huh? very fucking plain. Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Wallace. I don't need You're you. You're fire of me. I don't need you. Of all the people you I don't fire, you fire of me. Need you. Who, who's your Mr. Lawyer? Wallace? Who's your lawyer? This is it. Who's your lawyer? I have Lockwood. Lockwood has been better than you. You know why has Lockwood's he? been better than you? Because he actually fucking respects me. He actually says that what I say is fucking you know, biblical. You last sit I here saw, and he's all my you... fucking shadow. He's nothing. You understand that? Goodbye, Mr. Don't Wallace. Goodbye. Don't fucking Goodbye, walk away from Mr. me. Mr. Wallace.
and Wallace. Wallace is a fucking jackass. The whole thing with that steel with that. Dennis, Dennis, what? Jameson, what the fuck? I didn't tell you to torture him. I told you to get words out of him. I didn't say to fucking, fucking gun him up. Hold on, hold on, Dennis. Just, just, just give me a, give me a quick second. I got you, okay? Listen, Jameson, this is not what I fucking told you to do. Come on, come on, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. Yeah, fuck you, Jameson. You don't, you don't understand what the fuck I meant, obviously, because what you meant was to do something that I totally told you not to do, right? Okay, all right, all right. Let's say, I got you, I got you, I got you. Fuck you. Don't worry, Dennis. Dennis, listen, listen, I got you, Dennis. We're gonna take good care of you, Dennis. We're gonna take good care of him. Lockwood wasn't supposed to do any of those things. I didn't tell him to do what he did to you. I want you to know that I have come a long way since what happened in Daytona Beach, and I want to tell you that I forgive, I've forgiven you for what you tried to pull off that night. Peter told me you were gonna try to kill me that night. P Peter's no longer a problem. He's, he's, Peter's been taken care of. Um, a lot has happened in the gap um, that you've been unfortunately in captivity and what I want to let you know is that apparently Christian is alive. Apparently you didn't kill him that night and he's been sitting in a hospital the whole time until you finally, you know, disappeared. Um, word on the street is that you're dead. I want to show some people that that you're not dead, and that Dennis Fisher is still in power and is still out there doing what he needs done. Um, but what there's a, there's so much fucking shit going on right now, and what I need is I need to take care of the Russians. What I need you to do for me as a favor, and hopefully this could restore our friendship, is what I need you to do is take out Levi Solokov. How do you want me to do that? I actually want you to take him out with something all too familiar. The gun I gave you a long time ago, the gun that you shot Christian Kenna with, a gun that's killed many people, is one that I've used. I've told you that gun would do many things for you. Jessica Rhodes, right? Yes. Famous realtor. I see your face all over the place. 
I just want to say thank you. My wife and I, we bought a house. It's a, it's a remarkable house that you guys got. Thank you so much. Of course. Um, now, is there anything I can do? do you, want to, you want some coffee or bite to eat real quick? Oh. Anything. Um, I'm... No. But what I mean is I have somewhere to be. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, what if I, uh, I, what if I buy you a drink? It's the least I can do for you because you help my family. Um, my boys, they, they love the art. They really do. It's, it's amazing. I can. Yeah. I understand. I, I, I made a mistake. Listen, 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 listen. We're all friends here. Dennis? Job. Dennis. Job. I've already lectured Jameson. We're all allies here. We're all friends. Please, let's just get back. Let's just get back to the mission. Uh, Jameson, please. Um, basically, Levi Slokoff is going to be on the parking garage on South Amelia. And the thing is, is he's going to be leaving to Saratov, Russia. He's not gonna leave. You're gonna take him out in the parking lot. We're gonna leave it that, like that. It's to put fear into our enemies. Once allies, but now enemies. I want Daniel Wallace to realize that the man that he tried to stop was not fucking stopped. I am a man, I, I am the king of this city, and the thing is, is I'm not gonna let people like Wallace get in my way and halt my mission and my purpose. We have all the resources we need to get this done. It is a very simple mission. No one knows you're alive. No one knows you're gonna be walking around the city. No one's gonna be suspicious. Solokov is literally leaving on a business flight back to Russia. Do you think you could handle that? I think I could handle that. All right, now, after this, I'll have Jameson get with you about the communications and how we're going to speak through this whole event. But for now, let's just get fucking refreshments because Thank you. 
how long can you actually be retired? Can it be your faith in Dylan fired me. All because of this Russian deal. He wants to take out Soloko for no reason. I've tried, and I keep trying. You won't listen to me at all, Kenna. You won't. He's gonna go through this plan. I know he's going to. He's gonna try and take out Soloko for no reason. He thinks he's a threat, but he just he does not know how this is gonna affect the rest of us. I mean, it's an issue that needs to be dealt with. And I don't know how, which is why I'm here tonight. Daniel, none of us here are worried about Dylan Portland. We should have nothing to do with the affairs of Dylan Portland. I want nothing to do with Dylan. So that's the problem, Christian. If you want nothing to do with him, why are you talking to him? You explained that to me when you fired me. You named off everyone that knows that he's alive and claimed that I had no idea that he knew he was alive, which I didn't. I had no idea. But apparently you talked to him on the first day you were out. <sighs> Daniel, I... There were some things that I had to take care of and... Christian! Shut the fuck up and listen for once. I don't want to hear any more lies, no more bullshit. Down the brass tacks right here. What is going on? Why did you lie to me about meeting with Portland? My fucking business partner. The person I protect. What are you doing? Explain these situations to me so I can see clearly. You're talking to him behind my back, trying to be my friend up front. What's going on? Explain this to me, Christian. Use your fucking words. I don't think you ought to fucking understand. This bullshit's gonna be what bites us in the ass. Do you understand this? Not if we this don't. Is what's gonna happen if we let this fucking go? Shut your mouth for one second. Listen, you. Oh, listen for one goddamn second. If we do not interfere with Portland and his little affairs, then we're fine. He may kill Solokov. If. If he kills, listen! If he kills Solokov, they'll think it's him! Don't you see? Just be patient! We can't let this go unsolved! We have to have someone there that we can prove was there! You think the fucking Russians are just gonna blow over like that? Do you understand me? Are you getting what I'm saying? They don't know I'm alive! They will know! How are you not getting that? We can't let this stop! We gotta have another solution! We can't let him fucking kill Slokov! Do you understand that? We can't! Think! What is your solution? 
Explain that is my like solution. It's not gonna work. Do you understand me? It's not. No, that's not the plan. It's not gonna work. Sit back down in your chair. Do not tell me to sit back down. You wanna fucking talk? We are talking! Explain! Sit down your thoughts! Let us think this through! If that's your solution, it's fucking stupid and it's not gonna work. So let's sit down and think this through. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're lucky, Daniel. I'm not in a killing mood tonight. Right on, not in a self-defense kind of mood tonight either, so go ahead and spill your guts out. Let's hear it. Well, Christian, what we'd like for us right now, before we leave, is to establish the fact that no more lives are being held from each other. We're gonna let everything come out tonight and explain everything later on on the table. The biggest thing I'd like to express right now and inform you of is Fisher. He's not dead. He's very much so alive. There's something Portland's been wanting me to keep secret. He has a plan with him. I not. I, I don't know what he wants to do with, with, with Fisher. Daniel. Where is he? He's all familiar in the warehouse. Leaf. Excuse me? I apologize if I'm being disrespectful, my friend. But you walk out those fucking doors and you do not set foot until Dennis Fisher is dead. <laughs>